The grass is not trash. Some fifth graders get in trouble when they don't do their homework or when they forget their chores. But I'm different. I get in trouble every time my mom mows the lawn. Let me explain. This is my teeny tiny house and here is our teeny tiny yard. Every time my mom mows the lawn, I like to lean out the window and breathe deeply. I love the smell of freshly cut grass. But then my mom starts raking up the cut grass and she dumps it all into the trash can. Mom, I tell her every single time, don't throw the cut grass into the trash can. They told us in school that when we throw grass in the trash, it goes to the landfills. She always ignores me. She just keeps on raking grass. So I try again. The landfill in Cabarrus County is huge and smelly and stinky, and we shouldn't put trees, grass, and flowers in it. What did they do to deserve being dumped in trash? Hush, my mom tells me. I'm out here doing work, and you're running your mouth. Just stop it. So I pout and get mad, but I try again. Mom, they told us in school that it's illegal to dump the grass clipping in the trash. Illegal. That's when my mom get really mad at me. Don't you dare tell me I'm doing something illegal, she shouted at me. She gets really red in the face. You're the one who said we should follow the law, I cry out. Stop talking, she yells back. So I slump down on the floor and feel sad. One day while sitting sad and sorry for myself, I decided there must be a better way. I thought and I thought and I thought. And I came up with a great idea. I ran out of my room, out the door. I grabbed the rake from my mom. I'll take it from here, I told her grandly. My mom glared at me. I don't know what you're up to, but I better not see a single grass clipping on this lawn. I raked and raked and raked until I had a huge pile of grass clippings. Then I went to find my brother. He was giggling with his girlfriend. Go away, squirt! He snapped when he saw me. I need your help. I need your help to help me store all the grass clippings in your card trunk. That way, when we go to see Dad later in the week, we can dump the grass clippings there. Say what now? shouted my brother. Let me explain again. Dad lives closer to the city where he lives. A compost truck comes by every single Monday. It picks up all the grass and tree branches that people want to get rid of. Then the truck takes the dead green stuff to a special part of the landfill. It doesn't get mixed up with the garbage. Instead, it goes to a huge compost pile. When you have dead green things all in a pile, it all starts to break apart. It's called decomposition. Tiny microscopic bacteria do all the decomposing. And soon all the dead green things will turn into soil from the bacteria and the healthy fresh soil can be returned to yards and farms and we can grow flowers and food in it. This is how our ecosystems keep going. Things grow and then things die. And the bacteria decomposes it and it gets returned to the earth in the end. But if we don't do that, if we throw the grass out with the regular garbage, then it would just going to be lost in the stinky landfills forever. I told my brother all this, and he said, This is ridiculous. You think I'm going to dirty up my car with your grass clippings? I'll be really careful. I'll clean it all up, I told him. Sweetie, come on, said his girlfriend. All right, said my brother with a big frown. So he loaded the grass clippings carefully into bags and into the trunk of my brother's car. And later that week, we went to visit our dad because we were already going to go. We didn't use extra gas and cause air pollution. And now, every time my mom was alone, I rake it up and I take it to my dad's house. It's a small thing to do, but I'm being a hero in my own way.